Good morning, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day and welcome to the News Hub. I'm Simon Constable. Six world powers and Iran begin talks early next week on a deal for Iran to curb its nuclear program. What are the chances for a wider accord? We'll tell you that and more right here, right now. To help us answer that question, we have the privilege of Mideast Bureau Chief Bill Spindle on the set with us, who uh, studies the Mideast. Thanks for being here, sir. We, uh, we here. Really, really, really appreciate it. We got a temporary deal a few months back with, with Iran and, and the Six Nations. What are the chances we get something longer term? Because that's what everybody said. It was a stepping stone and something bigger would happen. And really not even a stepping stone in some sense. Basically, they've just agreed to sit down and have a real discussion about a permanent deal, which is going to be very difficult. What they've accomplished so far is basically a cap for cap type situation where the uh, Western powers have agreed to cap the sanctions and Iran has agreed to cap the the uh, uh, nuclear program. Which is the enrichment. The problem is not the nuclear program, so much as the enrichment of the uranium, which could then be used to make Yeah, and the bombs. centrifuges and the various facilities. They've just said, we won't build anymore if you don't sanction us anymore. But the next step is much, much more difficult. That's really going to be a rollback for rollback. That's got to be sort of Iran is going to have to dial down, scale back its, its nuclear program in return for the Western powers scaling back and dismantling the sanctions. That's going to be a much, much tougher road. So we, we hear the, the rhetoric that is used internally inside Iran about how, you know, how awful the U.S. is and the Western powers are, but primarily it's the U.S. How, how much is Rouhani on board? Uh, I think Rouhani is completely on board in the sense that he has, has come into this presidency promising to get sanctions lifted. And he's really going to have to deliver on that deal if he wants to be a successful president in, in any way. But there's only so much, you know, he's not really the guy in charge is the problem. It's the, the Mullahs, right? The Supreme Leader is in charge, uh, Ali Khamenei. And, and he's clearly willing to, to kind of give Rouhani some rope to run with this. Uh, I think he would like to see sanctions lifted, obviously. It's devastating their economy. But there's only so far he's going to be willing to go. So that's where the, the really difficult stuff and, comes. And how does that square with the rhetoric, though, when, when you say, you know, d d you know we, 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 we hear Israel, which, which is words you hear said, and we, we want to wipe them off the face of the Both. planet. And, and then, you know, right. we hear America, and they're awful. Right. Oh, yeah, but can you lift the sanctions? Right. It doesn't sort of, wow. it's sort of like sticking the fingers well, in I the eyes. Well, I think both, both sides have the the, the, the the hardliners on both sides, really. They're, they're super conservatives on both sides of, of the fence, both in the U.S. and in, in Iran, who don't want this deal to go through. And Rouhani's job on the Iran side is to, he's got to figure out a way to bring those hardliners along with him. And so one of the ways you do that is let them have their say. Let them have their, their criticism. Let them say what they want to for their domestic constituency. And in some ways, you'll see Rouhani moving towards, gesturing towards them, just as you're sometimes going to see Obama gesturing towards the hardliners in Congress who don't want this deal to go through or to, to Israel. So it's, it's a matter of letting people, let people vent and everything it's, will be okay. It's politics. What really has to happen is both, you know, you have a, a rare situation where both the U.S. administration and the Iranian administration seem to have an incentive to at least not let this deal collapse. Um, so to do that, they've got to hold that center between the two of them. And to do that, they're going to have to keep their hardliners on the margins. That well, will be very difficult. Hopefully, hopefully we see some of that next Tuesday. And uh, that'll be very interesting. We know you'll be all over it. Thank you very much. Sure. It's been a privilege. Bill Spindle, Biddy's Bureau Chief here at the Wall Street Journal.